Godzilla x Kong The New Empire is an exciting new film in the MonsterVerse. It has released a new era and fans all over the world are very excited for this movie. This movie involves Godzilla and Kong collaborating in order to battle two much stronger villains than them. These are completely new villains to the MonsterVerse and no one has heard of them until this movie. Today I'm going to be talking about the four main titans in this movie and that is the famous Godzilla, Kong, the main villain Scar King and kind of his pet Shibo. So let's get into the video. Godzilla. Who better to kick this video off than the king of the monsters himself? After slaughtering Tiamat, this occurred after Godzilla was exposed to an extreme amount of radiation, which then caused him to grow even more strong. In this movie, he was portrayed as more aggressive when Kong so much as stepped foot on the surface. He has shown to be more territorial because of this. The movie was not exactly geared towards him, as it was mainly Kong's subplot that was overshadowing him. But Godzilla still played an important role. Godzilla was annihilating Shimo and also helped Kong while he battled Scar King. Kong. Time for the giant ape. Kong discovers that he is not actually the last member of a species. He finds a whole stretch of territory belonging to them. Like Godzilla, Kong gains his own type of power up, which is the Beast Glove. Being the most intelligent titan, he successfully harnessed this in battle, making him a force to be reckoned with for the Scar King and Shiro. At the end of the movie, Kong becomes the new leader of the Titanus Kong species after dethroning Scar King, starting his timely reign after putting an end to Scar King with the help of Godzilla and Shimo. Kong certainly went through a lot in this particular movie, which, if you're a fan of his, is a great movie to see. Scar King Time for a true tyrant, the main villain of Godzilla x Kong. In this film, Kong discovers Scar King's Kingdom of Apes, and then he realized that he was actually ruling them extremely unfairly, almost in a hierarchy of some kind. We see that Scar King has some apes, similar to soldiers, like the one who roared at Kong and challenged him when he entered Scar King's domain. Somehow, Scar King has a weapon called a whiplash, made of what appears to be the skeleton of an airborne snake-like titan, which could be the Warbat. This is what he used to fight Kong, and it made this a pretty close fight. Scar King also had acquired a crystal that controlled an ice titan, which is known as Shimo who he had actually imprisoned behind a wall of lava. Scar King appears to be, in my opinion, the most evil villain the MonsterVerse has seen so far. Even more evil than Mechagodzilla or Ghidorah. I think this because he uses others to fight for him. He's a manipulator, he's cruel, and he also uses other people under him to do his bidding, rather than putting an effort to do it himself. It was even proven Shimo didn't even like him when she froze him with a freeze breath where he met his demise. This happened after she regained control of her own body. Shimo This enormous titan is one of the biggest and certainly very powerful titans of the MonsterVerse. It is still not confirmed how exactly she was actually imprisoned by Scar King but she was an amazingly strong asset for his army. Shimo can't really be considered a villain since she was beneath Scar King's control and did not do her evil actions by her own will. Regardless, she put up an amazing fight for Godzilla and Kong and could have lots of potential for a newly introduced MonsterVerse Titan. Now that she is free, she is most likely a benevolent Titan and would probably even assist Godzilla in his Alpha Titan duties. Overall, I think that the four main titans of this newly released film were extremely well developed, and for Scar King and Shiro, their debut was amazing. They did an amazing job of introducing these titans, as menacingly and powerful as they are. The way they introduced Scar King just sitting on his throne so menacingly. So, Godzilla and Kong have also developed quite a lot. Godzilla has his new evolved form, 
Kong has finally found his family of apes, and this movie could lead to lots of new events for the MonsterVerse, and it could be extremely well for developing the universe itself. Thank you for watching. What do you think is the best MonsterVerse film? Do you think this is the best MonsterVerse film yet?